Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may have noticed, we're in a different part of my house. We're at my microwave. Wow, my microwave corner is really a really fascinating place to be. That's why I took you here. I'm sure you're really excited to be here. So what we're gonna do today is try out this thing and it's called the Max Microfleur. <laughs> Am I saying that right? The Max Microfleur Microwave Flower Press. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Microwave Flower Press. Actually, some of you guys pointed this out to me and wanted me to try it out. So some of you already know that it exists. But when it was brought to my attention, I was like, microwave? Flowers? <laughs> so we're gonna try this out. We're gonna try microwaving some flowers. I'm really excited to try this out. Can you tell? I just slapped it in its face. Um, so I also have some really gorgeous, flowers. I'm so excited to try these out and I went for a bunch of different sizes so we're going to get into those in a second but that is what we're doing today so if you want to see if I can microwave some freaking flowers then continue watching. <laughs> and here it is. It's like a pizza box. Here is our micro flur. Uh, uh, goodbye. Micro Fleur Flower Press. All right, so upon reading the directions, we're gonna pop these little things off, off the sides, and set them aside, and then everything will start falling apart. So it says to take one of these and place it face down. I'm assuming that this is the face, all this jazz, and we're gonna place that face down so that it's gonna be flat like this. Can you guys see that? So then it says to take one of these pads, and place it on top, like so. And then one piece of fabric. Oh, okay, okay. So one piece of fabric. Place that on top. Then place the specimens <laughs> uh, to be pressed on the fabric sheet, making sure they sit flat and do not overlap or touch each other. So give me a second, I'm gonna cut some heads off and we're gonna pluck some petals out to make them as flat as possible. And then I will be back to place them on top of this. So let's get into this. We're gonna microwave some freaking flowers. And I think what we're gonna start with is this beauty. I believe, I think that this is a shimmer rose. And she is stunning and we've also got some pink spray roses, so like flowers, so similar flowers. Um, I'm going to place it face down. So they are all flattened out as, you know, as flat as a rose can possibly be. So the next step is to carefully place the second fabric sheet, a ding, a pad, and platen. That's the plastic thing, but I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Anyway, so we're gonna place this ah, right over our flowers. Um, we're gonna try to make sure to like line everything up, and then we're gonna place this back on top. It's basically a flower cheeseburger. And then we're gonna put this back on top, our plastic thing, making sure that this side is the side that's going down, or is facing up, my bad. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure that everything's lined up and then we take these little things and we put them on like they were when we first got it so that's gonna take some finagling because these flowers are kind of thick oh my goodness I don't know if you realized how much of a struggle that was to get these little brown things back on but I did it says that you should be drying them or like doing it in stages um, and you're supposed to start with an initial burst, followed by shorter bursts. I want to get this thing in the freaking microwave. Ha! I know what you're thinking. You're surprised that there's no exploded SpaghettiOs in there. And you know what? Me too. Actually, just kidding. I cleaned it for you guys. Um, so, yeah, let's get in. Let's get into this freaking microwave. Here we go. I'm putting my flour uh, sandwich in there. Shutting the door. And we're gonna microwave for, so I'm gonna go with 30 seconds. Boom! 
Let's sit here and wait 30 seconds together. Yes! Let's go for another 10 seconds. Ding. Okay, so I think, shut up. I think at this point, I'm gonna take it out. She hot. This is hot. Oh my god. That's hot and it smells. What does that smell like? Ah, I feel like I recognize the smell and it's awful. It's almost like broccoli or something. I'm not sure. Broccoli and peas. Peas. That's what this smells like. This is really hot and very smelly. Okay, so it is the next day and I wanted to put these flowers to the ultimate test 
and put them into resin so I thought that a whole fresh new day would be perfect for that because I'm probably gonna do a couple of layers and that takes several hours so we are starting a brand new day with our microwaved flowers that I did put into a book just to make sure that they don't lose any of their color and they don't kind of like start to curl up and get too crunchy so I've got them in my book here so here's our rose of course these little guys these little greens did really really well I think one of the my favorite things that came out yesterday was this guy this was one of like the peachy uh, lisianthus flowers here's our little what I think is a type of poppy and of course our spray roses did super well I had no doubts that these would do well yesterday so here is what toasted this was our like apricot ranunculus piece and you can see like the ring in the center is very brown and what's so funny is when I was microwaving this I was like like each flower had their own like kind of smell it was weird um, but when this one was in the microwave I was like it smells like chicken <laughs> so these I think I called these bupleurum yesterday I think they're ladies mantle I'm sure I put it um, as a like correction in the video when I when I said the wrong thing but these definitely turned like a brownish color and when I've pressed them in books before they've kind of retained more of their green color especially in like the flower part or like the little you know flowering sections um, but they they turned a bit brown they're still pretty cool looking so those are all the flowers that we put into the microwave I have some pre mixed up resin and I'm gonna make a piece out of it because I want to see how well uh, these flowers hold up in resin because if they're not fully dry they will lose more of their color so let's put them to the ultimate test
what guys I'm honestly so freaking surprised that this worked like I was really worried about this rose because I felt like the center of it was still pretty cool um, and that to me usually means that it might have some moisture left in it but it I mean it's definitely not as pink as it was when I first like got the rose and I first showed it to you is very pink very like vibrant pretty and it lost a lot of its color but this is basically what the rose would look like if I dried it in you know books like I normally do so I feel like you know I, and I also didn't have to go through the hassle of because sometimes in books they can mold you can use wax paper to kind of like combat it molding in books but generally this is what it would come out like anyway so I'm I'm really happy with this um, the spray roses did really well also because like they're just they're gorgeous they're like bright vibrant like they didn't lose any of their color in the resin and of course these you know greens are usually pretty easy to do like small little pieces oh my god though like this little guy oh my god that I love that that is so pretty but yeah like this rose did so well and this guy did really well too I was afraid that this is gonna lose a lot of color especially in that center part where it's very yellow but it didn't um, it did kind of like slightly turn like a tiny bit of a tint green like in these petal parts but in the back of it like it still has a lot of its purple and even in the front it does as well it's kind of weird that you can see me so well through this um, but yeah this also did really well it came out really pretty and this this is like my favorite one you let me know in the comments which one is your favorite but this one is definitely mine I love anything like peachy and this this freaking Lysianthus is so pretty and it stayed it stayed the color that it was when we dried it um, I mean like when we dried them they definitely got a little bit green in the center but that that happens and it did stay that way what I was afraid of when I put them in resin was that they were gonna turn more of a nasty color because I wasn't sure if the microwave had fully dried them um, but they, it it did like it worked and I'm honestly really surprised I love this piece a lot so none of the flowers that we dried in the microwave actually lost any color I mean they did while they were in the microwave but when we put them in resin they didn't lose any more of their color they basically stayed the same color as when they came out of the microwave so to me that's a win and I'm really surprised so I'm probably gonna keep using this if I ever need you know to do like a custom piece like I do commissions for people um, so if I ever need a specific flower like snappy like right now I might microwave it and see if it works to like get it really quick um, so yeah let me know if you guys have ever tried this thing before thank you guys so much for watching this video I love you to absolute death make sure you are subscribed to my channel because we're doing fun flowery things all the time here resin I'm the crazy resin lady self-proclaimed um, and also follow me on Instagram if you aren't already I will see you on the next video goodbye